Thank you. It's, it's really a pleasure and honor to be here today. You know, 75 years ago in this room, it all started. And I'll never forget, I, I sent a picture of this room 10 years ago to my editor and said, this is where it all began for the OSS Maritime Unit, the precursor or forerunner to the uh, U.S. Navy SEALs. And that story begins in 1941, where six Italian frogmen destroyed two British battleships in the Eastern Mediterranean, and that changed the balance of power in the Eastern Mediterranean, which set off an underwater arms race. The United States was the furthest behind of any of the countries. There was no scuba, there was no rebreather. And the War Department turned to Wild Bill Donovan, the OSS, to come up with a solution. And the solution was an eclectic and incredible group of individuals that came together to develop a device and then also the teams around that device and the tactics and technology. And that began in this room uh, 75 years ago where HGA Woolley, who was a British uh, naval officer who was also a recipient of the Victoria Cross in World War I, he was a Royal Commando, but he was a liaison officer for, for the British Army in, in Washington, D.C., and he knew Donovan, but he was also a screenwriter for Paramount. He was an American, too. And he brought on his close friend, Jack Taylor, who was a dentist from Hollywood, California. And they, came, they had to come together to figure out what, what, how to develop a rebreather. And they looked around and they found several individuals, but they came up with Christian Lambertson, who had been developing this since his childhood. And they brought him here 75 years ago to, to test it. And that was the beginning of the OSS Maritime Unit, which then blossomed. The, these men fought all across the Pacific and in Europe. Jack Taylor, this dentist from California, it's one of the most extraordinary stories of World War II. Jack Taylor, who tested the unit here in this pool, later led the deepest parachute mission into Austria with a, with a team of deserter volunteers. He parachuted in, was captured by the SS, and spent the rest of the war in Mauthausen concentration camp and survived the war as an American in Mauthausen concentration camp. Uh, Jack Taylor survived the war. The OSS, after the war, it was disbanded. But as the Admiral mentioned, the, 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 the lessons that were learned, the technology that was developed from OSS as well as the Italians. The OSS actually brought on the OS, the San Marco Battalion and Decima Moss through Richard Kelly, who was an OSS veteran. And they actually had a, uh, a partnership with elements of the Italians during the war. That technology and those tactics were passed on to the US Navy SEALs, uh, which then was developed in, in the 1960s. Unfortunately, Jack Taylor, this, the, uh, the man that, that, uh, that tested it here, along with Christian Lambertson, would not, would not survive to see that. He died, not, he died in a plane crash. But the OSS lives on today as we, as we know it. Thank you.